Thursday morning, my friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on what is a thankful Thursday for me. I hope it's thankful for you. I'm thankful for your prayers. Uh, it's been a rough week. It's been a long week, but God is good, and He's brought me this far, and He's going to continue the healing process. The good news is I'm not contagious, uh, so that is a, a good thing, and I'm on the mend. But right now, we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, picking up in verse 12. And remember what Paul's been doing. He's telling us that, that God gave us all of these stories about Israel in the Old Testament to be a, a model for us, what we should do and what we shouldn't do, how we should behave and how we shouldn't behave. And, <clears throat> and understand what he's saying is that, that when we turn against God, when we rebel against God, we're going to face the wrath of God. The judgment of God is going to fall, and we need to be prepared for that if we're going to live a sinful life. And then he starts out verse 12 with a very strong statement. He says, therefore, and that word therefore means that based on everything we've just talked about, all of this stuff about the example, all this stuff about judgment, he says, therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. Now, what in the world does that mean? Well, you know that comes from the book of Proverbs. Pride comes before a downfall. And anytime you, you start getting this idea, well, that can't happen to me, <clears throat> I would never give in to that temptation. I would never do that sort of thing. Understand that is when you are the closest to failure as you have ever been. Paul tells us, let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. Look at verse 13. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. Understand every temptation is based on the same thing. It's either the, the lust of the flesh, the pride of, of life, the, the, the things that we see, the covetousness that comes into our hearts, it it's all comes down to the same thing, whether it's sexual sin or material sin or rebellion, whatever it is. It's all about self and self-centeredness and ego and all of the things that go along with that. And all of us struggle with this, those same kinds of temptations. And the moment you think that you are stronger than the temptation on your own, that's the moment you, you begin to stumble and you begin to fall. And, and I want you to understand something here. We cannot do this on our own. That's why we need each other. But more importantly, it's why we need God. And, and here's the good news. <clears throat> here's what Paul says in verse 13. But God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. In other words, when the temptation comes, you can get away from it. And by the way, that's what, what the Bible tells us to do is we're to flee those youthful lusts. We're to run as fast as we can from those things that tempt us. Don't put, our, put yourself in the spot that you know you're going to be tempted. And when you find yourself in those spots, get away from them as fast as you can. But even in those moments, God gives you the strength to do that, to, to pull away, to draw back from that, to overcome the temptation. The problem is when we choose to stay. The problem is when we choose to play with the temptation, to let it take root in our heart and in our mind. We start thinking about it and comp just, just making it a, uh, well, what if? And, and could I do this and not do that? And, and we get caught up in, in the, 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 those old desires, those carnal, uh, that carnal nature begins to take hold. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, instead of trying to get away from it, we're trying to see how we can accomplish it. And we stumble into sin. Look, the temptation is not sin. The temptation is the enemy working to cause you to stumble into sin, to pull you away from God. But God is so good. He is so faithful, Paul says. He will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able to bear. Do you see that? He will not allow the enemy to tempt you beyond what you can overcome. So what does that mean? It means every time we sin, it's because we choose to sin. You can't say the devil made you do it. You can't say, I was just too weak. God has promised that he would enable you to overcome every temptation. Now, the good news is that when we do stumble into sin, if we confess it, he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 
But we must remember, God is walking with us through this. Stand strong in His grace. And always remember, but by the grace of God, there go I. Be blessed. See you back here tomorrow.